that's the whole point of this workshop, to like find how we can mould the body into, into being a mean of communicating something. So that there's the kind of the, the neutrality of the vertical body and then so that's your starting point, that's your zero point. But that kind of state is like a blank canvas and as soon as you change anything from that, it's like you've started your, your painting and you start to make meaning. Stretch this whole line of the body and imagine that the tip of your fingers are extended and drawing a line, a diagonal line right up into the space. Try to start to feel the difference that the, the when you when you kind of become balanced when you become vertical. <laughs> feel that, 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 that space. <laughs> So we're going to start loosening up different levels of the body because every level for us is, uh, can be used to communicate different things. <laughs> Draw circles with the pelvis. Think of all these, these parts of the body almost as, as, as separate levels that you can kind of isolate one and, and kind of make that the focus of, of, of a character's movement. Stretching that sensation of extension and like stretching out. <laughs> yes, this is the sexy part of it. <laughs> Just try to find that that calm, that balance, that space in front of you. And when you walk forward, which partition feels dominant to you? Start pushing one of those partition. Say you're thinking of, of your pelvis. Maybe start pushing that and see how that changes. What, what kind of shape does your body take? It's no longer neutral. It's slightly more pushed, slightly more expressive. Somebody's walking with their plec, their bassin really further forward. It's, you know, it's they're pushing their set. Is that what does that make? Maybe try pushing your chest foot further forward. What does that make you? How does that, what does that remind us of? And we start getting all these flavours. Try then walking with your plexus totally in. It changes completely. Find angles, find different rhythms. That's it. <laughs> Not quite an interesting group over here. Imagine that somebody is, is kind of pulling you by that, that, that body part, not even necessarily that it's coming from inside you, but, but from outside as well. If, if you're being kind of pulled by your knees, you know, what, what person then starts to do that? I think you want an experiment with like the imaginary street. <laughs> <laughs> do, uh, try, do you use the space, do, do the is it little kind of steps like that, or does, does the person walk? No. Great big steps and <laughs> so imagine he's covered in clay and maybe like pull his ear out and he's going to whoop. Say I like pull your nose out. <laughs> Instantly your whole body has changed. Maybe you're if you're you're attached to her hands. Yeah. If you if you kind of are walking backwards, does do her hands s sway as she walks, or do they do they march? <laughs> is it little kind of little like a little thread like that, or is it a big rope? <laughs> Marching, or is it kind of? Because even though you're just. You're just tweaking small little features of the face. The entire body changes. For example, when you pulled her nose, her shoulders went back, her plexus went forward, and yeah. suddenly she was. Her whole body changed. As Valentina says, as soon as one thing changes from that neutral body, the whole rest of the body kind of seems to fall into place. <laughs> Rip off a, a, a bit of cardboard and 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 literally kind of use it to to explore how how you, you might enlarge like a, a body part or there are some scissors okay. don't think of it as, as costume it's okay. not it's not like you're you've now got a kind of shoulder pad but think of it as as like 
you know, it might become a ma an enormous nose. And if your nose isn't that big, how does that change the way you walk? How does that change the way you feel? You suddenly a very proud person with his nose in the air. Mm -hmm. Does it turn you into a little dog that kind of walks along the ground? It, 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 we, that imagine this kind of mound of flesh. Imagine that that was was kind of your face. <laughs> you know, you cover it. It doesn't have. We're not performing. It doesn't have to actually cover your face. But you imagine that. Make, does that make a kind of long, thin person? You know, what what's do you imagine the walk of this this face? Or if it was like that, how does that change? You know, does does that make him a short, fat person? Or and and, and with ev with every shape, you'll try try and have a look at it. Maybe see what this it is. This is an like. enormous ear. Does that? This obviously guides this person. And this Maybe shorter, kind of sharper movements. It, it, it's, yeah. it tastes something and then your whole body has to follow it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so these are the works of modern art in the gallery. And then basically the idea is that you, you take your, your bit of card or something that you've been trying and you just explore the gallery, you look at it. How does that person look at the art? How does it explore something? Does it use its kind of big chin to do it? If, it? if it looks at the other person, you know, just kind of explore the flex space. You can use this ear as like uh, a kind of um, like an antennae. You know, when you're looking at something, the ear suddenly takes you somewhere else. Or uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah.